Hi, this is Shamel Lane from Shamel.com, and I'm here with a new video in the Sketch to Scrapbook page series. For this sketch, I decided to go back to an older album and choose one of my favorite layouts from my 2010 book and use that as the starting um, inspiration for the sketch. So I'm starting with two 4x6 photos. They're both landscape and they go in the top left corner. And then the rest of the page is filled with a few large blocks of pattern paper and then several smaller bits that can be journaling cards and pieced together for lots of writing. For this, I'm going to use lots of different American Crafts papers, and I'm starting with this yellow from the Dear Lizzie 6x6 paper pack. And then the other pattern papers include this butterfly from Gardenia, the craft cardstock, orange wood grain from Campy Trails, a blue polka dot from Nightfall, and an orange grid from Daydreams. So all the papers are different collections, but they all have some similar colors. I'll start with that top left corner. I want the photographs to remain the full 4x6 size, which means I'm going to need to cut down that 6x6 six paper block a little bit and make it um, small enough that I'll end up with a, a small craft frame that's going to go around the full page. I'm going to round just the four extreme corners of the page. So the yellow box at the top right and that photo at the top left. And then the pattern paper that goes along the very bottom, I'll round those two bottom corners. And then I'll just start adhering this um, to leave that small craft frame around the edge. And all of the papers on the layout will be inked in brown. I'm just using Distress Ink in Antique. No vintage photo, um, but you can use any brown ink that uh, that dries relatively quickly. This butterfly print is the only multicolored pattern that I've chosen, and it has all the different colors of the layout brought together in one pattern. So I'm just going to use it for the small block there to the right of the bottom photo, and that will pull together all the different pattern papers in the different color, because this includes the brown that from the inking, plus the orange, the yellow, and the blue from all the different patterns that I've chosen. It doesn't take very much to have a multicolored pattern pull all the different single colored patterns together. Then this orange wood grain will go at the bottom of the paper, or bottom of the page, and that's from the Campy Trails collection. And I'll just round those two bottom corners to um, finish off that little bit of the design. And then that needs to be inked as well. And I'm just using, um, I use a, an ink applicator with the foam on the bottom, which is a lot less messy for me than uh, using the ink pad straight to the page. Now there's that small gap between the wood grain and the photo. And I want to cut a strip that's going to fill that whole gap, a 12 inch strip that's gonna go all the way across. But instead of just a plain strip, I decided I would add a notebook border to that. Um, or notebook edge. So I'm using the Knockouts Punch by American Crafts and, and that will make it look like it came out of a spiral notebook. Just ruffle up those edges a little bit so it looks a bit more real and then adhere that right over the gap and it should go all the way across the page. From here, I want to start to add the smaller elements to the page, and I start by just going through the die cuts and pulling out different things in different colors. So I looked for things that had some orange or some blue or maybe a little bit of um, an off-white color that would match the rest of the papers. And then I just try and organize little groupings of them in a way that will work and give me plenty of room to write. Now, where I'm arranging them there on the top of the page isn't where they're going to go. I just wanted to and make them one actual unit so now I can move them across the page and not have to keep moving all the different little pieces. That large 
pocket is from the Amy Tangerine collection. And then in the smaller pieces there, there's another Amy Tangerine die cut, but also a tag from Gardenia, a Dear Lizzie tag. And, and the little plant tag there is also from Gardenia. But all these different little tags and boxes will give me plenty of room to write, especially because for this layout, I'm going to use my um, use a list style writing. So it doesn't all need to be in one nice neat block because I'm going to have like a numbered list with different things um, and they, it doesn't need to be one giant paragraph of writing. Now in a layout like this where there's a, a lot going on in the middle, but it's quite plain at the right hand side, I like a really big word, like something in a really giant font that will help pull everything together and make it um, easy to see everything even though there are little pockets of busyness on this page. This letter or lettering style is called Sunset and it comes in a few different colors. And then a slightly smaller font for the second word, and this one's a bit more glittery. I try to make the thickers go um, so that they end with the edges of layers underneath, so that's why I just place them really loosely, and then I go back and um, and move them around to the, a better placing so that you don't get kind of a line going through the gap in a letter. And then I'm also using some flat stickers for the last few words. And these are the American craft, it's all American crafts. These are Amy Tangerine letters. So the original 2010 layout was just a list of various favorite things at that point in time. For this particular layout, I decided to do kind of a country roundup, and this is a list of favorite things from Thailand. So instead of just general life, the journaling is going to be limited to one element. So instead of having a page that's just a, a purely about me type layout, this will go in my travel album. At this point, I decided if I had that many fonts already on the page, I might as well just go ahead and have every font, every word in a different font. So I pulled out the rubber uh, lettering from the Amy Tangerine collection, and then even some brackets from the Foam Nightfall thickers, because I was a little worried that the yellow lettering at the bottom of the page was getting a little bit lost. So it just brought a little bit more orange into that um, into that area of the page. and decided that uh, maybe a, something that wasn't paper would be a good choice here. So I added some felt rickrack just to change up the texture of everything here. And um, the felt rickrack, I just used my normal adhesive. It doesn't take very much glue at all to keep it in place. Just tuck the ed edges under the different page elements. Keep it a bit tidy that way and decided that perhaps the title could benefit from just one little, one more word there at the top to balance everything. So I went ahead and repeated that yellow flat letter sticker from before. And then filled in all the journaling. Once all the writing was finished, I added just a few little embellishments, a couple little butterflies, and a paper pinwheel, and that's the completed page. I'd love for you to give this sketch a try and share it with me at chamel.com. Thanks for watching.